Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 19 Complete CRUD Project. We are building an expense tracker and so far this is what we have reached at. We have done the layout, two column sidebar layout, collapsible using Angular Material toolbar and the side nav. We built the grid using Angular Material table. It has the selecting of the results per page, pagination. We also have the HTTP call going in to get and fetch all the expenses. We have added edit and delete buttons. We will add this functionality little later. But right now, in the last episode, we have created a simple form. Today we are going to complete it and also include the edit functionality in this same form. Let's get started and complete that functionality that we started. All right. So, so far what we have done in the last episode is we left it at this on submit. So what we will do now is we will capture that data and process it. Okay. So let's start with the ad first. Before we get started, it's always good that you put some this dot expense form and check for the values that are coming in. Okay. That's very important, especially when you are doing this. Um, thing where you want to validate when you want to see the data it's very very important that you add some console logs to see what is happening in the application so let's go ahead and check this form I'll enter some details and say that uh, restaurant amount 200 category food yesterday and I'll open my inspect and I'll hit submit and I'm seeing that form is submitted it's submitting the form group at it has the ID and the values okay that's perfect that's what we need now what we will do since we are getting the expense let's call our API and patch this into the backend so we will do expense service dot add expense and that is where we will send this latest data so this will do the add functionality. Once you see that, what we need to do, inform the user that something has happened. So I'm going to use snack bar dot open and we will throw a message and say expense successfully. All right, let's go ahead and give it a try again. And I'm going to add food one, some value select from drop down select a date and hit submit and we get the snack bar here which says expense added successfully now what I want is when user does this after this I want him to route to the grid so that he can see the latest data there so we can do that by saying since we already have I think router yep router so we are going to use navigate method and send him back to dashboard. Okay. So it is giving an error because it has to be in an array. And we are saying the user should route to slash dashboard. Let's see that now. I'll add some expense E1, enter amount, category, date, and submit. And we get the snack bar which says expense added successfully and we will see the data getting added here which is EX1 that is added successfully okay so this is how add functionality will work okay now same way let's go ahead and do it for the edit now for the edit again the logic will still be same in the edit we are going to call the method expense service dot update expense and here it would take two things the first is the ID the second is the expense object itself so we are going to say this dot expense ID comma the expense data okay now it is telling us the argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of string so what we will do to string will convert it to, to string so now it becomes a string and update again goes and updates it this dot snack bar dot open expense 
edited successfully and it will route it back since it's outside the router is outside after edit also it will send us back to dashboard let's go ahead and now we how do we test the route so let's go to edit app routes and add a route here for our edit we are going to say path edit slash id it will go to same component which is expense add edit component so in our grid if you see we added in the template we have added the route link which says edit slash expense id so now here when i click edit 50 it should show me the details click back and here it goes id is getting captured too that is good but form is empty because we haven't yet done that part all right so our edit route is also in place okay now let's go ahead and make a change so that we populate this form for edit okay let's go ahead into the code now if it's an edit correct that means the the, the person who is coming in if you see this we already said it that if load expense data that's what we are parked the method if there is an expense ID you load expense data so if you open edit and see the inspect element you should see that message um, the message name is expense right here I'm going to add and say inside load expense okay so it says inside load expense and we are getting the object what we want to edit you see here the value is 1 and we are getting the expense object with the details so now let's go ahead and fill the form okay so that it's available whenever user comes in if expense that means if expense object is available we are going to patch the expense form patch value with what with the details that we will get from the form so here we are going to say title whatever value we have title expense dot title amount colon expense dot amount category expense dot category date this is from our existing value that we are mapping okay so now when you reload the form you will see that the data is already patched into the form you can see here 150 food right now you select the date form is updated form edited successfully now let's click on it again medkit 2 and select the date date is not getting persisted we'll check on that okay <coughs> so now let's go ahead and check for the backend API call but this is all you need in order to do the edit and add we click on edit we are seeing the data now let's check why the it's failing the error response right you can see it says expense one not found in our network call you can see that data is not getting patched that might be because of the backend so what I'll do is go back to my terminal where we are running our JSON endpoints and restart that once again and now let's come back here click on edit keep the inspect mode on it might be the case that okay so now it got created and updated right so you can see here now I click edit restaurant to submit it got updated all right so our update is working fine what about add new expense let's add thousand entertainment select the date as 28 and submit and go and check it and it says f1 entertainment thousand it's added so our ad is working our edit is working eating two select a date it's because of the bad data that we did since we did not have the earlier one it did not get updated okay so once you have the correct 
format of the date it would work all right perfect um, so that's how you do the add edit um, of the details you can click edit you can say 500 and submit and it got updated okay perfect so our add is done our edit is complete our layout is completed our add form is ready now let's style it a little bit and make it attractive form field so this is the form field I have copy that class name from the developer tools and give width as 100% it would look like this which is very ugly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say width should be 60% okay looks good and overall this card right I can make it the entire card itself I'll give a class and make it little short so it looks good so I'm going to give a class to this and say add edit card and here we'll add edit card and we'll say max width should be 600 pixel let's see how that looks it's in here you can see that it's shortened now and display flex justify content center or I can just say margin auto so now it comes in the center again this fields are not getting in um, so I'll now make it 100% so now they are occupying like this uh, and then the card itself I can make it margin top 30 pixel so it comes little down than this it's in the center aligned and yeah I can make it padding 30 pixel so that it's in the center aligned to the uh, element right so let's see the form looks good for this title we can add some more space in the bottom so we can say here give a class and say card title and here I can add and say card title padding bottom padding bottom 30 pixel so there is some space now looks good the form is set up all right so do give it a try to let me know what you think we have completed the grid the edit functionality and also the pagination grid add and edit in the next part we will do the delete functionality and that will be the closing of our session I hope you're enjoying don't forget to get your full stack interview series book which is available at arctutorials.gumroad.com Alright, thank you so much. We'll see you in part 7. We do the delete functionality. Thank you.